van. Uh, Omada State is based uh, in the hills of Darling on the west coast uh, of South Africa. You can see the hills are quite um, steep, we're about 400 meters above sea level uh, and it gives us great slopes uh, to work with. Uh, you also notice in the vineyards, it's all dry land vineyards. We have to be very diligent in uh, conserving moisture uh, in the soils and the soils that we work with I think is very unique. It has a very granular structure. Uh, as you can see I'm having holding some of the um, pieces of the soil in my hand. This allows for very good rainfall penetration, allows the water to really penetrate deep in the soil profile and is our uh, water buffer for the dry summer months. Also allows the roots of the vines to go really deep into the soil to go and collect the moisture and nutrients dive down there. We find that some of the roots go down up to four meters into the soil. Behind me you can see the coastline. We're very close, close to the sea. Um, and this has a profound effect on the vineyards and also on the quality and style that we produce. Uh, this morning there's a, there's a slight wind blowing, nice and cool. And we're also the coolest uh, growing area in South Africa with an average maximum temperature in January and February below 25 degrees. On our vineyards we don't use pesticides for more than a decade now. They something they haven't used. But that doesn't mean the vineyards can't fend for themselves. Uh, we do need to help the vineyards uh, look after them. And for that we use natural predators of the pests. Inside the bottles we have eggs of small wasps that would hatch and would fly out. This we would um, hatch onto the trellising. The um, ladybirds, uh, they come in these packets to us. We would op op open them up. You can see inside got some live uh, ladybirds in there and we would put the packets in the cavity like that. When the wasp hatch they would go out and find the uh, mealybug uh, obviously which they would prey on and eradicate it from the vineyards. And I think you'll agree with me that it's a much safer and much more sustainable way of looking after the vineyards. Here we are in the Aumont cellar. This is where we produce the fantastic Chenin Blanc that you'll be uh, enjoying. It's a very modern cellar. Uh, and uh, we work very much with our gravity fed system where the grapes are pumped as little as possible. We only work with free run juice and because of our gravity based system we get over 600 litres a ton. We've shared a short journey with you through the uh, production of this uh, Chenin Blanc and we'd like to end off by uh, sharing the wine with you. The Chenin Blanc is fantastically uh, aromatic, beautiful guava flavours to it but the wine is well balanced and has great acidity and minerality and that's, that's what you will find from the Ormond estate. Uh, we hope that you enjoy this wine uh, in Britain and uh, it's a good reflection of the top quality Chenin